black hat hacker as when also mentioned you can see these are the ones those who are having the malicious intentions correct those who are doing it for their own personal gains make sense whereas if you talk about white hat hacker if you're talking about white hat hacker when i was discussing about a pen tester where will you put your pen tester in which team in which hat white hat right so white hat hackers you can say they are the ones those who go by the books like you know those who go by the rules they do not have any malicious intentions so as one also mentioned they will identify the vulnerabilities uh, so that company or you can organization the security people can quickly fix it up before any malicious attacker or malicious hacker exploits it and takes an advantage of it is that clear white hat and black hat so those testing which we discussed mm -hmm. no black box white box testing gray box testing those testings are done by your which hat hacker your white hat hacker clear then we have gray hat hacker any guesses what your gray hat hacker will be they are the blend of both you can say they are the blend of both the black hat as well as your white hat so okay i will give you an example like okay let's suppose uh dinesh is a hacker he found a vulnerability at infosec trains web page okay in our web app dinesh found out a vulnerability now he found a vulnerability he didn't exploit it he didn't take it took an advantage of he, did, he didn't take the advantage of that vulnerability yet what he did he contacted infosec train and the one who was responsible for dealing these things he informed him or uh her -huh, and told them okay that i found a vulnerability in your this web app and this is the vulnerability okay like he will just say i found a vulnerability in your web app and it can be exploited in this way and you know it can do this this damage and all that part that is fair and square right now does dinesh have any malicious intention till now his motivation or his his intentions are pretty much fine right he do not have any malicious intention now what happened infosec train like dinesh asked that okay for this vulnerability as right now just you just mentioned right bug bounty kind of a thing dinesh said okay uh, i found this vulnerability in you know in return of this vulnerability i want you to reward me with some amount of you can see you know money sort of a thing okay just like a bug bounty thing now what happened infosec train they denied they said we won't give you a single penny now dinesh did what he exposed or you can say he made that vulnerability public he made that vulnerability public or he sold out that vulnerability in your black market now does he have the malicious intentions by selling it out because someone in the black market will take that vulnerability and he or, or you know he or she will exploit it and take an advantage of that correct get your point of gray hat hacker so script kiddies you can say amateurs right uh, amateurs or you can say the curious minds right the curious mind like they do not know what they are doing like for example you know these black hat white hat and gray hat they are pretty much experienced ones okay they know what they are doing they have a good amount of knowledge about those tools technologies they know how to write scripts right you know the python scripts which we write and all that part they have very good idea of that what they are doing whereas on the other hand these script kiddies these are your amateurs you can see you know curious minds they they do not know how those 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 tools work or what is exactly the tool about or what that script is all about but yet they use it out of curiosity or they might want to impress you know you can say they want to impress their you know friends family you know and all that part or you can say script kiddies are like or like the ones like you know those who type in google okay how to crack my girlfriend's instagram account all that part so that will be falling under the under the category of script kiddies okay then we have hacktivist what is a hacktivist 
that hacktivists you can consider hacker plus activists, right? Those who have some political agenda, or those who have this, you know, goal, or uh, those who are trying to be uh, become a voice and want to spread out, uh, you know, it out to the entire world. I have this example, like you know, you might have heard about that Black Lives Matter that went, you know, huge in America. Black Lives Matter. Anyone heard about it? Correct. So what happened in that? Uh, if you have heard about Black Lives Matter. In that, uh, you know, a police officer, someone from the FBI, they, 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 what happened? He killed a, you know, black as per the, you know, color. So he killed him. And, you know, what happened? It was, they, they were just suppressing this entire case. But what happened? All of a sudden, this Black Lives Matter movement went away much, you know, a good movement, you can say. So, what happened like you know this is totally against those racism discrimination and equality inequality basically so in this one there was a group which was with the name anonymous if you have heard about this group name anyone heard about the name anonymous so these are the activists what they did they took out the entire footage you know of that entire department and they uh, dig into the more cases those were the same ones and they took out those things out and spread out to the world so they were in support of this movement basically you can say right of this racism discrimination and equality so that will be your activist okay then we have cyber terrorists what is cyber terrorist so what happened in stuxnet there was a malware you know that was implemented almost compromise a nuclear power plant in your iran right so if if, if it would have been executed completely we might have, you know, have experience of loss of human life over there. Then we have state sponsored. I guess that's pretty much clear. The government hackers, you can say, right? Those are there in order to spy into other things, correct? And those who are uh, sponsored by your government. Then we have suicide hackers. How will you define suicide hackers? Suicide hackers, like, you know, they know what they are doing. They know what the outcome will be, but still they will make that call, right? Like, you know, they know if they got caught, so, you know, life imprisonment might be there or huge penalty will be there, but still they are going to do that. So they will be termed as your suicide hackers. Clear everyone? 